said love to the war She puts his bags out by the door Begins to cry In a cabin in a room And watch the shadows dance like ghosts Across the moon And when he's back Will she be there? Will she be there? To put the coffee Hello. Hey, Taylor. How's it going? It's good. Thanks for coming on our show. Yeah, thank you for having me. Um, so tell us a little bit about what you do here in Jackson. Um, well, I, uh, I'm a songwriter from Jackson. I've oh, lived here my whole life and um, ended up being a school teacher when I got out of, out of college and did that for about six years and during the course of that played in several bands and we uh, ended up starting a band called Passenger Giants and been playing with those guys for about three years and we put out a record last year. Um, it was recorded by our buddy Byron Knight, guy that owns uh, Sneaky Beans. And we uh, played around on that, and then we, um, you know, we ended up getting to where we really couldn't tour that much. So I figured I'd do something on my own. And um, so right now I'm currently working on just a solo record. She <laughs> As a matter of fact, I am. It's Coke. <laughs> it's, just it's just it's chilly out today. So I like your sweater. Oh, thank you. Yours is great. <coughs> but we. Um, Anyways, <laughs> um, so the songs that you played for us are they on your solo? Yeah, they'll be on the solo record. And they, I, I wrote, I wrote like five or six songs about um, about these. <coughs> Two characters um, during, I guess, a, a war period, and the man goes off to war. The woman stays at home. And I thought, found it to be really interesting, you know, how when he goes off, she's got to become strong and hold a house together. And at the same time, they're trying to keep love interest in one another, and trying to stay in touch. And I've never really experienced that, but I saw my grandparents go through it, you know, or just heard about it at least. I wasn't, you know, wasn't alive, of course. I'd be like 60 <laughs> if that was the case, but. He'd um, probably still be wearing that sweater. Oh, just rocking it. <laughs> but um, so I just wrote about those two people. So some of the songs are they're talking to one another. Some of the songs are you know from a from a narrative standpoint. And um, so I'm really excited about them. And I was saying earlier, you know, I got uh, Valerie McGee playing with me and Jamie Weems and Dave Hutchison and um, Brian Letford and Johnny Bertram's going to come in and do some stuff That's and Lizzie awesome. Wright and all these great people around town. And um, Byron's doing the record, so I'm really excited about it. I mean, when do you think it will be ready? Um, I think sometimes clo closer to Thanksgiving. Oh, wow. And um, getting getting close that way. And she's out there. And, and she's out there. I guess he took too long. I, I guess he took too long. And he don't write. And it's been all these years and, and all these years He watched his garden grow And he watched her put food out on her own table Food out on the table 
You want to do another one?